Киев Телефилм Кампані. Without You. Episode 9. Godfather. He warned me they might kill him if I wouldn't stop. I didn't believe him. Katya, it wasn't your fault. It's his life, his choice. He could agree to cooperate and get official protection. But he preferred to do it his way. Yes, Dmitro, I know, but it doesn't make me feel better. Please don't call me Katya, then we aren't alone. I don't want to raise questions. Okay. Tea is ready. I made a sedative mix for you. Thank you. Clara, if there is something I can do, just tell me. There is nothing to be done. Thanks, anyway. Although, Dmitra, I want to say goodbye to my godfather, but... I don't know how. Technically, I'm not family, so they won't allow me there. Can you let me see him for a couple minutes before the funeral? I can try. As far as I know, they're doing a post-mortem. I could talk to the coroner. I can't promise a lot. I think a couple minutes is the best you can get. Okay. If that's what you want, of course. The body is burned badly. Burned? I thought he was killed. Yes, didn't you say that? They poured gasoline on him and set him on fire while he was asleep. I didn't want to tell you. Clara. You mean he burned alive? Clara. Clara. Clara, wait. Wait, Clara. I'll go to her. No, I will. Oh, my God. Katya. Don't torture yourself. It's my fault. All my fault. He asked me. He warned me. You can't bring him back. Such a horrible death. I know he did a lot of bad things, but... He didn't deserve that. Not that. I agree. Death is not fair in general. You know, it takes old ones and little ones without asking. Dmitrik, what's wrong? Has something happened? My son died yesterday. Nadia got in an accident. So I know what you feel. Dmitrik. Dmitro. Nadia, I don't think you should get discharged now. It's too early. You should stay for a couple of days for observation. Doctor, tell her. Nadia, your mother-in-law is right. You do need to stay here at least a couple of days. You are still bleeding. It will stop, won't it? You gave me a prescription. I'll keep taking the meds. But if you feel worse, if I feel worse, I'll call the doctor. By the way, Eduard Karlovich, when will my stomach be flat again? I thought it would disappear after the miscarriage, but it's still there. It takes time and exercise. I can do that. You can't exercise yet. You need to rest. As I said, the bleeding... Yes. It's not bad, but it's still there. Come on, a bleed in a period. What's the difference? I even missed it. Nadia, this isn't right. You have just lost your baby. Svetlana, please. Don't overthink it. 
Do you want me to be depressed? Ban my head at the walls jump out of the window? No, of course, no, I didn't mean that. Please understand. I can't stay here anymore. Here, everything is reminding me of my loss. Better take the back. Yes, yes. I think I have everything. Eduard Karlovich, thank you again for your support and understanding. Good luck. Nadia, I'll drive you. Goodbye. Nadia. Goodbye. I'll wait outside. Yes, thank you. Alyssa, I'm sorry I ran away like that. I freaked out. It happens, happened to me last night. That's why I'm here. Right. I'm going to visit Aunt Lucia in hospital. I asked Dima to drive me. I don't want to drive right now. I need to tell her about Godfather's death. They weren't a perfect couple, but... She loved him all her life. I can't even think how she'll take the news. You and Mitro have an interesting relationship. It's as if you knew each other all your lives. Actually, we do. I'll tell you later. Please, put it there. Okay, I'll leave you in charge. Cooking lunch would be nice. Lock the door just in case. I have the key. Okay. Okay, what do we have here? I wonder how to cook you. I wish Allah was here. Daddy. The stubborn girl. Baby, call mom back. She's very worried. Lisa, darling, what's wrong? You're so upset. Don't be. She'll be back. She needs time to be alone, to process it all. What if she doesn't? Don't try to soother me, Alexa. Of course, she will come back. We're family, after all. Anyway... Roman will not let her leave. You know how he feels about her. Come on, get up. Let's have some breakfast. I'm not hungry. More, more, more. Thank you, Allah. You're welcome. Roman, have you heard from Olesa? No, she won't take my calls. How are you doing, Mom? Was my detective helpful? Yes, yes. You know, they are very capable. They did the job easily. Um, was it by any means related to Georgi? I heard about yesterday's acid attack. <laughs> Remember, I'm nothing like your late father. I have nothing to do with that. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Why do you need a phone if you aren't using it? I can't get through to my daughter. Just tea, please. Of course. I even sent her a sad text with sad emoji. If that doesn't melt her heart. Roman, you should go check on her. Maybe she needs groceries. We don't want her to get an ulcer because of her nerves. Yes, I'm going there later. That's a good idea. You should have told Olesia long ago. 
I think it would only make it worse. She's older now, and I hope things will settle down and go back to normal. Listen, I've been thinking about what we've been discussing. Fighting fire with fire, right? Lisa agrees with me. It's time to find Olesia a husband to help her forget this Danilo. So, family, I need your help. Oh, you want Victor to be your son-in-law? Why not? He's a nice young man. We know the family well, and it would be good for the business, no? He's not some crook, too. No, no, I didn't mean it like that. Just saying. Mother, if you have another candidate, please share it with us. I'm open to suggestions. As long as my daughter likes him. I think it would be very helpful in her current situation. I need to think about it. Actually, Victor is a good option. I agree. My God, I can't believe we agree on that. Congratulations. You should first ask Olesia if she wants to get married. <sighs> what bit him this time? Please, leave a message after. Thank you for arranging it with the coroner. It's important for me. Yes, but I'm afraid it won't be very pleasant to look at. Nothing in my life was very pleasant to look at. Maybe the time has come to change it. How? Start with quitting your criminal career. I already found you a job. Remember the card? Yeah, sure, I still have it. I can help you get the papers for your real name. Have you ever thought about an official resurrection? I have. It's my cherished dream. Now isn't the time to make it happen. Why? Because first I need to find my family's killer. I think Godfather was right about that. As soon as I resurface, it will be open season. That person probably thinks I'm a witness and will try to get rid of me. If I die, I won't do anyone much good. Shit. With all this circus, I forgot to ask my father about Uncle Mikola's cases. But I will, I promise. I'll get you the info. Thank you. I really need it. Dmitro. How was your wife? Have you seen her? Yes. She's probably better now, because mom called me to say that Nadia had herself discharged. How strange. She lost the baby only yesterday. Yes. Nadia hasn't been herself lately. I don't understand her anymore. I'll make you herbal tea and cook something delicious. You just have some rest. The place needs cleaning too. Svetlana, no need to cook anything or to clean. Actually, I really want to be alone. You know, in peace. Okay? Yes, Nadia, I just want to help. I know, I understand, but please understand me too. I'll be quiet. I won't be in usance. I know, but I need to be alone. Sorry. Uh, yes. Thanks a lot. Bye. Well, okay. Bye. Thanks again. See you tomorrow. Finally. God, not this. Never mind. It will pass. Huh? 
I think it's edible. Roman. Suffer a little. It's good for you. Okay. I can watch it on the laptop. Oh. I know this face. Hmm. Are they back so soon? Look who is here, traitor number one. Not even number two, mind you, because I saw you as a friend, not just family. I didn't betray you. I was protecting you. With a lie? Protect me from whom? From yourself. Olesya, I was afraid you'd do something stupid. Do you remember yourself at 17? You were a maximalist, seeing the world in black and white. If you found out the truth about Danilo, it would be horrible. Even if it would, it wasn't your business. Yes, it was. Because I love you. Just like that. You love me and you lie to me. No. That's some love. No, it's different. Why is it different? Because... because... What? What? Do you know that I was adopted? You and I aren't related. What is the bullshit, Roman? Have you come up with it right now to make me pity you to make up with me? It won't work. How about this? Now, do you know what I mean when I say I love you? Never mind, it's my problem, not yours. You don't have to love me. I'm sorry. And please, Call your parents. They are worried sick. Roman! Roman, wait! It's okay. At least I tried. Roman! 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 Now I'll definitely get fired. How could it happen? Mixing up the bodies. Cremating someone else instead of a bum. They hire students and I have to answer for them. So I can't even bury him. I am afraid not. It's a strange situation, of course. Igor, how can one mix up the bodies? There are name tags. That's what I'd like to know, too. The idiots. Who admitted them to the med school? I swear, it's the first time in all the years I've been here. I know, what happened to your relative's body is unforgivable, but please, accept my apologies. I'll find the dickhead who did it and throw him into the furnace. It doesn't matter now, anyway. Again, I'm sorry, but I need to write a report. Yes, Mom, okay, I'll see to it. I know she should stay in bed. I'll be there soon. Is everything all right? Almost. I need to go home. Do you need a ride? No, thanks. The hospital isn't far from here. I'll walk there and later take a taxi to the cabin. 
Don't worry. Okay. Call me if you need me. I'll be right there. Good. Okay. Well, your guys did a good, clean job. Spectacular, I would say. Whose idea the fire was? An improvisation, as far as I know. Well, Ghost 1 is dead. Long live Ghost 2. Do you have a candidate? Not yet. Still looking. There's a couple of good guys, but they don't think big enough. They are good performers, but our Ghost had always been creative. Don't wait too long, because we don't know when we might need the ghost. There's an almost perfect candidate, but... But what? It's the ghost's apprentice. She's a very gifted girl, and in spite of her huge success rate, she has no criminal record. Interesting. Who is she? Clara. Your daughter's friend. The Clara? And how good is she? Here. This good. These are only the cases I was able to find out about. Impressive. We'll take her. I'm not sure that she will take us. What do you mean? Boss, she never killed anyone. That can change. Grigori also wasn't a killer, but he caught up with it soon enough. Money is the best motivator, believe me. Let's go. He left after all. I didn't even get a chance to say goodbye. It's horrible. <laughs> Such an awful death. I wouldn't wish it on an enemy. There are things worse than death. What do you mean, Aunt Lisa? When I was in surgery, my heart stopped. You know that. Then I saw it. And it was light and warm. And scary. All my life in front of my eyes. And you, Katya. I'm sorry, my dear. I owe you an apology. And Grigori, so does he. He did. I'm afraid he never realized it. And now he is there, and I'm scared for him. How will he look him in the eye? Maybe it was just the Anastasia. I wish. Listen. Go to church for me, please. Order a commemoration service. I don't know how it's done. I'll find out. Oh, Dmitra, how good that you came. I cooked your favorite wheel French style. It's in the oven. I have two more sets to do. I'm not hungry. Nadia, are you sure? The doctor ordered you to stay in bed. Come on, I'm fine. My doctor is an alarmist. I'm not doing any harm stuff. Just having fun. Do you really think it's normal? Straight from the hospital to... Dmitro, please stop. Exercising helps produce endorphins, the joy hormone. That's what I need right now to avoid dark thoughts. You don't want me depressed or hanging in a noose, do you? No, I definitely don't. Support me, then. You know that sports and dancing are my thing. Honestly, the lack of exercise was driving me mad. Don't worry. 
I have it under control. Still, I think you need to consult with the doctor first. Dmitro, leave it. When it comes to dancing, I can consult anyone. I've been in belly all my life. Dmitro, one more thing. I promise you there will be no more feats of jealousy. Never. I promise. And please forgive me for all the sins I tortured you with. I don't know what it was. Maybe a blackout. Please forgive me. Dmitro, I love you so much. I'll do anything to save our marriage. I'm really very sorry that our baby died, but we are young and healthy, right? We'll make another. You know what? Let me finish my routine and we'll go out together. Like in good old times, we could catch up over lunch. What do you think? Nadia, I have to go back to work. Okay. Of course, go if you have to. I'll go on with my exercise. Eat the wheel. I made it for you. Okay. Bye. I am back. Alessia, are you okay? Sorry, I fell asleep. Have you called your parents? Yes, my mom. She is prone to depression. I don't want her to have high BP because of this moron Danila even after his death. Are you going to come back to them? No, I don't mind you here. It's more fun being here with you. I'd stay a couple more days if you don't mind to sort out my thoughts. Yes, yeah, sure. I would be even glad. Clara, I took your laptop. The TV doesn't work. I wanted to watch a movie, but here's what I found. Why are you interested in this detective and his family? Because this detective is my father, and this is my family. His wife and daughter were my mother and sister. God, I'm sorry, I didn't know. It's okay, everything's fine. You were telling me about their death, right? Yes. And I intend to find their killer. Hi, Vasil. Hi. Any news on the ghost? Mm -hmm. Have you found out who he is? Are you okay, Vasil? No, I'm not. Alessia has quit. I didn't even get a chance to say goodbye. She just didn't come to work. They say that her bigwig daddy made sure she didn't have to put in a notice two weeks in advance. What's really frustrating is that I was going to ask her out. I couldn't bring myself to do it, and when I finally made up my mind... I see. Don't worry, she will come back. What do you know about her? Let's say she's going through a personal crisis. So what's with the quests? Listen, I hacked into the server and sent our guys to the addresses. It was petty business except for one case. What case? I didn't want to tell you on the phone. The quest has been completed anyway. What is this? A planned suicide? Why are you surprised? There are enough idiots around, especially at these suicide forums. The ghost decided to use one of them. I see, but why not? Though, if it happened the way they planned... You would lose your job, and your wife would be convicted for manslaughter. 
he is batshit crazy. Imagine, he is now in the hospital, mourning the fact that he had survived. Luckily, his friend was filming it all and posted the video at a private forum. It shows clearly that the kid jumped at the car. Right. That accident took my baby's life. If this moron thinks he will get away with it, he has another thought coming. That's the house. I'll make more pasta, okay? Someone is here. Maybe Roman is back. Has he been here? Turn around the car. Shit, it's dead. Okay. Dead is good. Alessia, you can't hide from them forever. Come on, go. Go talk to him. Hey! Are you receiving guests? Olesia. Dad, what are you doing here? Hi, baby. Well, I'm here to get you. You don't have your car. I'm not going anywhere. I will live independently like Clara so that no one could manipulate me. This conversation is over. Baby, baby, wait. I, I miss you. Your mother misses you. I'll deal with mom myself. Shit. Hello? Clara? Are you home? It's Zubo. I'm outside your house. Can you come out to talk? Just don't tell Olesia, I'm waiting. Oh, another big boss is here to see me. I'm popular. No, you're not. You're just the ghost copycat. You're mistaken, kid. I am the ghost. I'm going to be a criminal legend. Yeah, right. You know, you're making me sick. I don't want to waste any more time on you. And you came here just to tell me that. I must have grabbed your attention. By the way, how is your little wifey? A bird told me that she hit a man with her car. You know, a little bird told me that you're going to the general population today. Guys there know that you attacked a pregnant woman and killed her unborn child. I myself didn't kill anyone. Tell this to your cellmates. Many of them have wives and kids on the outside. You're a smart, well-read boy. You know what they do to guys like you in prison. Guys who attack pregnant women and kids. You'll be a legend, yes. Wait, I'm not sure you'll live to see your trial. You won't need the ghost to hang yourself. You have no right to send me to Gen Pop. Are you sure? He's ready for transfer. Wait, I can't be in general population. I'm disabled. Wait, what if I agree to cooperate? Depends on what you have to say. I'm not the ghost. I only work for him. Right. Next, you'll say Clara is the ghost. Your brother already tried that. No, I'll give you the name of the real ghost. But I want guarantees of my safety. I want it to be official. I need my lawyer. Clara, please talk to Alicia. Make her come home. I told her that independent life was shit. It's better to live with the parents, but she wouldn't listen. Yes, she's stubborn. Do you want my advice? 
Yes. Go ahead. Give her time. Let her have a taste of adult life without mommy and daddy. It will soon get old and she'll go back home. I doubt it. If she took something into her head, she won't budge. I've got an idea. What is this for? I want to offer you a job. Make Olesa run away from you. Push her away. Make her understand that her home is the only place where she is welcome. Excuse me, Mr. Zubel, but I'm not going to do this. I don't want to lose my friend. She'll come back to you anyway without all this. I don't make offers twice. Go have a cigarette. The little shit. She wouldn't take the money. Okay, now I see. It's her influence. She needs to be isolated. If you say so, boss. Isolated how? Just removed or... Or, let's go. Okay, babe. See you at the club. Bring a friend. Where are you going? Me? To the club? I want to relax. All these problems make me sick. Did you see Olesa? Yes. How is she? Her? Better than I am. You fought again, huh? You would have found out anyway, so... I told Olesa I was adopted. If she asks you something, please back me up. Are you crazy? Why did you lie? Because I can't keep lying to her and to myself. I can't pretend to be her uncle anymore. Roman, don't be selfish. Do you realize what you've done? Now we all will have to lie to her. What does mom say? I know. Mom doesn't know about it. You can tell her if you want. No, thanks. You started this mess, you take care of it. How... how did Alessa react? She didn't. You were right. She still sees me only as a family. Listen, the pasta is delicious. Shall you teach me to cook? Sure thing. This one is my signature dish since I was eight. Aunt Lucia wasn't much of a cook, so I had to teach myself. When you were eight? I have never even come close to the stove. Our housekeeper, Ala, does everything. Hot. A housekeeper? You're living my dream. You know, I feel so good around you. So calm. Funny. It's as if I knew you all my life. I must say, I don't mind being around you either. If someone told me when we first met that we'll be chatting like this, lying on a sofa at a Trubitskoy's cabin, I wouldn't believe it. Life is unpredictable. New people come. Old people go. Is it true that your godfather won't even have a funeral? No. He has already been cremated. My godfather was no saint, but he loved me. And took care of me. It didn't always work, but... He was there for me. I know how you feel. When my grandpa died, I cried for a week. I couldn't believe he was gone. It's life. You never know where you find and where you lose. 
My godfather used to say that. Listen, can I ask you a personal question? Go ahead. What's going on between you and Mitro? Just don't say nothing, okay? We are at his cabin. He takes care of you. It's obvious I'm not a hypocrite and I'm not judging, but... No, Lysia, it's not what you think. Dmitro and I are childhood friends. We grew up together. We even lived next door. Both our dads were police detective, and they were gifts these apartments by their job. Really? Yes. I thought you were having an affair, the way you look at each other. No, that's not me. Married men are a big no-no for me. I don't know. I would start something if I were you. You make such a great couple. Especially now. Not to sound cynical, when they aren't expecting anymore. No, thanks. There is the boomerang law. Besides, if a man betrays once, he will betray again. I wish I could disagree. But you are right. I'm sorry I'm late. I had to file the report. It's okay. Work is work. I hope you are hungry. I decided to pamper you with some yummy food. I missed you. What's the occasion? No occasion. I promised you everything would be the way it was. So, wash your hands and let's eat. When I get better, you'll get the dessert too. Roman, I was confused yesterday. You drove away so fast I didn't have a chance to tell you. I think I love you too. Good morning, Ala. Hello. Welcome back. I won't stay long. Is Roman there? Yes, but... Thanks. Roman? Roman? I wanted to say... Olesia? Hi, girlfriend. Rita? What time is it? Rita. Um. It's late. Too late for everything. Olesia, wait. Stop. Stop. <laughs> My baby is back. I thought... No, this is too much. Open the gate. Asshole. Asshole. Where did she go? To this Clara again? Does she prefer her to her family? Solve this problem and quick. I'm working on it. Work faster. Good morning. I don't get it. What's going on? Are they all kidding me? Olesia! 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 Hi. How are you doing? I'm fine. I've brought you some fruit and chocolates. The doctor allowed it to cheer you up. Thank you for not abandoning me. Listen, where will I go from you? Who else is going to nag me every day? Katya, what are your plans? My plan is to find the ghost so that he wouldn't give us any more surprises. Dan obviously has a megalomania. He has screwed up really bad. I feel sorry for Ella, even thought she's also out of control. And after that? After that, my dear auntie, I'm going to start a real job. Dmitro found one for me just in my thieves' line. What do you mean? I'll look for ways to rob a bank or a museum and then find ways to stop myself from it. Can you believe it? Sounds cool. It is. Listen, 
I think this is the first time. You really want to know how I am. It's nice. Thank you. I'll rinse the apples for you. Katya. Your family's murder. Will you close it for yourself? Of course not. I'll find that monster and get back at him. Godfather knew who he was, but he took it to the grave, even though he knew how important it was for me. Zubov. What about him? Zubo had your family killed. Did I get it right? Now you aren't the ghost, but his assistant. Yes. Have you seen Batman and Robin? I'm Robin. Can't you deal with this Robin yourself? The attorney insisted on your presence. We want to make an official statement. My client retracts his previous statement given under the police pressure and threats from... Threats from whom? The real ghost. What happened now? Why have you changed your mind? Because the real ghost is dead, and I don't have to be afraid anymore. Who is this mysterious ghost according to you? Uncle Grigori, my neighbor. It was him who got me involved. First it was small things, he wasn't very good with gadgets. Then there were bigger jobs. It's impossible. Grigory was in prison at the time of the crimes. Are you kidding me? Prisons have doors and they can be opened. With money instead of keys. Uncle Grigory had enough of that. See? It's definitely him. He was at Yakimenko's house around the time of the murders. So, Dan is telling the truth, and the ghost is Clara's godfather. I can't believe it. Why have prisons if he can come out at any time? Shit. That's right. We couldn't catch the ghost because he'd provide for himself the best alibi in the world, get arrested for a petty crime. On a regular basis. You know the saying, prison is his home away from home. That's exactly the case here. I need to tell Clara. No, I'll better do it in person. I'll also ask her if she knows of some cases we don't know about. Tell her I said hi. Sure. Nadine. If you hold in your stomach, you'll be perfect. I'm sorry it happened to you. My condolences. Life doesn't always give us chocolates. You know that. As for my tummy, give me a couple of weeks and I'll get rid of it. You know that I always get what I want. Other than that, I'm... I'm ready. Ready for what? What do you mean? For joining your grand project? Darling, you have to understand. The troop has already been formed. We have no vacancies. Wait. No, wait. You made me an offer. You said that I... that... that... I was just being nice, trying to support you. I'm sorry. Oh, people. Isn't it a bit early for this? It's high time. 
You know that everybody betrayed me, right? Even Roman. My Roman. Although he isn't mine anymore. Right. I'm sorry. So am I. It's true that all men are pigs. I'll give you an example. A guy you know comes here, confesses his love for you, and before you have time to react, he has already left. So you come to him, and he is there with another woman. Do you think it's normal, Mitra? Do you mind my familiarity? We aren't colleagues anymore. It's okay. You know what I've been thinking. I've had enough of being goody two-shoes. I'll be like everyone else. What do you mean? I mean, I want to forget that fool. Meaning what? I don't know. I need a new man. You could do. I'm not Clara. I don't have all these rules. I don't care if you're married. That's great.